Sophie? She's not here yet. Hey guys, so excited to be talking with you. We're in the beautiful city of Miami, celebrating Latinos. How are you guys? We're good. Yeah, we're good, awesome. thank you. I love that the film shows that we can coexist modernity with traditions. I think it's um, very well presented in the film. And you're as an executive producer, how would you repurpose or how do you reimagine this to be like a rom-com? Well, I didn't, I didn't, the idea did not originate with me. It originated with Paul Paris, one of our producers, and Warner Brothers. That was discussed. Paul, I think, brought them the idea of potentially turning this IP into a new version with a Hispanic, in this case, particularly Cuban family, and a Mexican one that marries into it, as in our story. I came into it once the first draft of the script was in, so I was excited about the possibility of and given the opportunity to be a part of it and, and you know, be responsible for its outcome somehow, you know, be one of the people uh, nurturing it along the way. Absolutely. And I think in the story too, it's about tolerance, but also about family. And also, I think the wedding really puts the family to a test. You know, everyone's kind of crazy, but it all works out in the end. So seeing the whole family dynamic as an audience is super enjoyable, but how is it on set with this ensemble cast, seeing the whole dynamics? Oh, uh, you know, I think the dynamics that you see in the movie, some of them are very similar to our actual dynamics. All the really fun parts are very much us, I think. Um, we had, honestly, such a great time making this movie. Um, we were in Atlanta, COVID bubble, all of us Latin Americans. Um, we knew each other from, I had worked with Isa before, I had worked, I, I had met Diego before, me and Andy met briefly before making the movie. So by the time that we got to set, everyone felt like a big family. Um, and we just had a blast. We really enjoyed, we knew that this movie was gonna be special and we made sure to have a really great time while making it. And it definitely shows on screen. Um, I felt the good vibes and it was just, it was amazing. So congratulations again. And the film deals with the notion of traditional and the unconventional and it's kind of the craft of movie making. Do you think it's now been changed or do you think it's been, the way we make movies has changed over years? It has technically has changed, especially just from film to digital. It's a huge difference, you know, and also the size of the cameras. Yes. <laughs> but what doesn't change is the, the story, you know, the execution of how you execute the story. And without a good story, without the execution, then you have, uh, you know, you don't have uh, you don't have a film that works. Yeah, and maybe the inclusion that's changed. I I feel it more, and I think this is this movie is an example of that. It feels like a great triumph for us Latin Americans in, in Hollywood to sort of showcase this movie made, produced, acted by Latin Americans. Um, and it feels really special. And I don't know if that would have happened um, years ago. There has been movies, but they're all, that mostly have been independent movies that people Scratch and bite and scratch yeah. them to production. No, this is a studio movie, a and, studio. and you know a lot of people are going to be able to watch this. Um, so it, it feels very, it feels very special. It is very special. Thank you guys so much Thank for you. talking with me. Love the film. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Help me. Ready? Yes. And you? No.